Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, pink uh, circle with the center O fully inscribed uh, in a scalene uh, triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, its side length uh, AB is uh, 10 uh, units, side length uh, AC is uh, 9, and finally, this uh, side length uh, BC is uh, 8. And furthermore, uh, these points uh, D, E, and uh, F uh, are the points of uh, tangency. And now our task is uh, to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, pink uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I am going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first step. Before we do anything else, we must find the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And since uh, all the side lengths uh, of this uh, triangles are known, so therefore, we are going to apply the Heron's formula. And here's a Heron's formula. The area of this uh, triangle is going to be the square root of... Uh, s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c where s is equal to a plus b plus c all over 2 and since we know that a plus b plus c is the perimeter of this uh, triangle so no wonder this s stands for semi perimeter let me go ahead and label uh, this side length of the triangle as lowercase a this side length uh, lowercase uh, b and finally this side length uh, lowercase uh, c. Therefore, let's go ahead and calculate uh, this uh, s value by plugging in uh, in this uh, equation. So this semi perimeter s is going to be a value is uh, 8 plus b value is 9 plus c value is 10 uh, all over 2. So therefore, our s value turns out to be 13 point uh, five uh, units and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle by filling in the blanks uh, in this uh, formula so let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle i'm going to put down uh, this uh, square root our s value is uh, 13.5 times 13.5 minus a value is uh, 8 s is 13.5 once again minus b value is 9 and finally we have a 13.5 minus uh, 10 now let's go ahead and convert uh, these decimals into fraction so 13.5 could be written as 135 divided by 10 this 5.5 could be written as 55 divided by 10 this 4.5 could be written as 45 uh, divided by 10 and finally 3.5 is 35 uh, divided by 10 as you can see in this uh, next step and now we broke it down uh, into numerators and denominators uh, with the radical signs and now let's focus uh, on this uh, numerator part and I have copied it down uh, over here and here I have broke them down and if we simplify this turns out to be 9 times 25 times square root of 231. So therefore this uh, numerator part I am going to replace it uh, by this uh, simplified uh, one. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, denominator. We got uh, 10,000 uh, with the square root and if we simplify that thing that is simply is going to give us uh, 100 at the denominator so therefore this whole uh, fraction has been simplified to 9 times uh, 25 times the square root of uh, 231 all over 100 and now we can see 25 uh, divided by 100 uh, could be reduced to 1 uh, divided by 4 so therefore the area of this uh, triangle has been simplified to 9 times uh, square root of uh, 231 divided by 4 square units. 
So that's the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC turns out to be 9 times uh, square root of 231 uh, divided by 4 square units. And here's our next step. Let me go ahead and connect uh, this center O with these uh, points of tangencies uh, D, E and uh, F. As you can see in this uh, next step I have connected uh, these points. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, OD is the radius of this uh, pink uh, circle. Let me label this radius as uh, lowercase r. Likewise OE is the radius as well. This is going to be lowercase r. And finally OF uh, is going to be lowercase r uh, radius. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees as you can see in this uh, diagram and here this is our radius and this is our tangent line no wonder this angle is uh, 90 degrees so therefore in our case uh, all these uh, angles are going to be 90 degrees uh, each since uh, these are our uh, tangent lines and these are uh, our radii and here's our next step let me go ahead and connect uh, this center O with these uh, vertices uh, a, B and uh, C. As you can see in this uh, next step I have connected uh, these uh, points uh, as you can see and as a result we got uh, these uh, three triangles. Uh, the first one is uh, AOB, the next one is uh, BOC and finally this uh, triangle uh, AOC. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this whole uh, triangle uh, ABC is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, three individual uh, triangles. Triangle uh, AOB area, triangle BOC area plus uh, triangle AOC area. And since we already figured out our uh, triangle uh, ABC area, so therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the areas uh, of uh, these uh, individual uh, triangles before we can calculate the radius. And here's our next step. Let me go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, AOB. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to half times uh, base uh, times height. And for this uh, triangle uh, AOB, the base uh, is uh, 10 and the height uh, is uh, lowercase r. So therefore the area of this triangle AOB is going to be equal to 10 times R divided by 2. And if we simplify that is going to give us 5 times R. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this next triangle BOC whose base is 8 and the height is R. So therefore we can write uh, A times R divided by 2 and that is going to be equal to 4 times R. And finally let's calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, AOC whose base is uh, 9 and the height uh, is uh, R. So therefore we got uh, 9 R divided by 2 and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 4 point uh, five times r and here's our final step let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, equation we already figured out this uh, triangle uh, abc area and these uh, other individual areas uh, on the right hand side as well so let me go ahead and fill in the blanks so we got uh, on the left hand side uh, nine times the uh, square root of uh, 231 divided by four is going to be equal to 5 times r plus 4 times r plus 4.5 times r and if we add all these numbers on the right hand side that is going to give us 13.5 times r and we can write this decimal as a fraction we can write 135 times r divided by 10 and now this uh, fraction uh, 135 divided by 10 uh, could be reduced to 27 uh, divided by 2 so therefore the right hand side has been uh, simplified to 
27 divided by 2 times r. Let me go ahead and multiply by this uh, reciprocal 2 divided by 27 uh, on the right hand side uh, and 2 divided by 27 uh, on the left hand side as well. And here we can see this uh, 2 and 2 is gone, 27, 27 is uh, gone. So therefore our radius uh, r is going to be equal to, if we simplify everything on the left hand side, that is going to give us square root of 231 divided by 6. So thus the radius uh, of this uh, pink circle turns out to be square root of 231 divided by 6 units and that is going to be approximately equal to 2.53 units. And now let me share with you the alternative uh, method to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, circle and we will come up with the generalized uh, formula. And let's assume that the base uh, of this uh, triangle is lowercase a, this is uh, lowercase b and for this triangle uh, it is uh, lowercase c and the height uh, of all uh, these uh, triangles uh, is uh, lowercase r. And now let's recall once again the area of a triangle formula, a equals to half times base times height. So therefore the area of this uh, triangle uh, AOB is going to be C times R divided by 2. Likewise the area of this uh, triangle uh, BOC is going to be A times R divided by 2. And finally the area of this triangle uh, AOC is going to be B times R divided by 2 as you can see in this uh, next step. And if I factor radius r outside, we are going to get uh, a plus b plus c divided by 2 in the parentheses. And now we know that uh, a plus b plus c divided by 2 is uh, represented by lowercase s, uh, the semi-parameter. So therefore, I am going to replace uh, this part by lowercase s. So therefore, the right hand side could be written as uh, r times uh, s and here's our generalized uh, formula area of the triangle is equal to the radius uh, r times uh, s where s uh, is equal to a plus b plus c divided by 2 and we know in our case our a value is uh, 8 b value is uh, 9 and c value is uh, 10 and we already figured out our uh, ABC triangle area. So therefore, we can easily figure out uh, this uh, radius R value. And here's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.